Let's imagine we have a large ball of hydrogen somewhere in space, for example, our sun. Is it stable? If it shrinks a bit, will the gravity cause it to keep shrinking and become smaller and smaller? Well, obviously that's not the case. The sun must be stable because it's been around a long time. But let's look at the maths behind it. So we know that the condition for stability is that PV to the gamma is a constant for any ideal gas, and we need gamma to be more than four thirds. So for the sun, what is gamma? Well, this is what's called an adiabatic case. Adiabatic means nothing going in or coming out. What that means in this case is if you take a little bit of gas in the middle of a star and you compress it, energy probably doesn't have time to go out. And anyway, it's in the middle of a very thick opaque star. So the energy, when you compress something, it's getting smaller, you're doing work on it. Uh, as the energy can't escape, it'll get hotter. Likewise, if you make something get larger, expand it outwards, if it's adiabatic and no energy is coming in and out, um, it's doing work on you, so it's losing energy, or the energy is also more spread out, so it'll get cooler. Now, it turns out that if the pressure is constant for an adiabatic monatomic gas, like hydrogen, like the sun, the temperature in a given volume is proportional to volume to the minus two-thirds power. So that's what we need to know in order to calculate whether the sun is stable. So we know for an ideal gas, PV is proportional to temperature, and temperature is proportional to volume to the minus two thirds. So we've got PV proportional to V to the minus two thirds. Take that over the other side of the equation, we get PV to the five thirds is a constant. So gamma is 5 thirds, which is more than 4 thirds, so the sun is stable. Good to know.